A Florida community is coming together trying to find a missing basketball coach. He was last seen on security footage early Saturday morning. Now the man's best friend is leading the charge to try to track him down with the help of hundreds of others. Maya Eaglin has been tracking this story for us. She joins us now. Maya? Hi, Kate. Mac Yacht Yak's community is taking his disappearance into their own hands by setting up search parties and posting flyers. But concern is growing with each day that passes. The search is on for McQuatch Yak, a beloved Florida basketball coach. I don't want to hear, I don't want to read, I don't want to think about anything, like, except for, have we been to this spot yet? Have we canvassed this area? Have we spoken to this people in this area? Tate Van Rokel is Yak's best friend and coaching partner. They met in college and have coached children's basketball in South Florida for years. He says he was the last one to see Yak before he went missing Saturday morning. It's funny, Friday night, he was actually uh, the one consoling me. Um, my grandma had surgery to remove her eye because uh, it was cancerous. And um, he, gave, he gave me a big hug. Um, told me that everything was going to be okay. Tate came to pick up Yak from his home Saturday morning so they could drive to coach basketball. I went to go open the side door and I was like, what's up, you up? And I got no response. There was no, you know, nothing, no noise, nothing. Um, his wallet, his phone, his keys, his Apple Watch were all sitting on a counter. Coach Yak's landlord released this video taken from a security camera outside his home Saturday morning. He hasn't been seen since. Now the communities around Delray Beach, Florida are putting up flyers and organizing search parties to find the man who served as a role model for so many. The whole essence of the entire travel basketball team was about being one love and about being a good teammate. Jessica Hall's son was coached by Yak. She says his passion is felt throughout the community. His whole demeanor really resonated. That's that's what you, you got when you met him, is that he was a very passionate person about doing the right thing. The Delray Police Department posting this update today to their Facebook page, writing, quote, We are still hoping to locate McQuatch Yak. He never returned home after going for a run Saturday morning. His family and friends have organized another search party to try and find him Thursday afternoon. Tate says he won't stop until he finds his best friend. And I've went to every possible place that him or I have been to before and, you know, went to go visit and any common places. I just, my mind won't let me be. Yak and Tate actually started a nonprofit together called MT Athletics to host basketball games in Yak's native country of South Sudan. His community members say he was dedicated to giving back, not just to his current community, but also the community that raised him. Kate. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.